all right welcome to my channel or welcome back i'm intuitive empress thank you for coming to the table to be nourished by the spiritual food that is being served for you on today this is a general message for all signs so take what resonates and leave the rest in other words while you're feasting on this meal on today eat the fish or the meat but don't choke on the bones thank you for everyone who has supported me we have made it to over 10 thousand subscribers yay guess what that means we are going to be having a live so i'm going to be placing some times please vote on the times because i want to make sure that everyone who could possibly show up can show up for this extravaganza we're going to have some awesome things for you during that live you will have the opportunity to ask one question that information will be also posted for asking your question and getting your question answered. All right. So if you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. If you have not subscribed, please do so. We do have some fun. I'd like to think so. Um, <laughs> on this channel, we get to the nitty gritty help you make some decisions on your spiritual walk, your life, your love life, your family life, whatever's going on in this time for our lives so we can move on in the things that the Most High wants us to do. Okay, so hit that subscribe button, all right, and that bell notification so you know when new videos are available. Thank you for everyone who has donated to the channel. For those who wish to donate, my cash app is in the description. All right, we also have the herbal bath soaps, which you can do through the link that is going to be in the description. That will be the PayPal uh, dot me link that will be in the description section. Um, if you would like a personal read or to get my Oracle cards, um, I also have uh, jewelry there, crystal jewelry to help you on your way. The link to my Etsy shop is there. There is actually a sale going on right now. So please take advantage of that sale while it is going on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you again. And here we go. All right. Holy Spirit, Heavenly Angels of the Most High God and Father God, we ask that you would have your way in this message. We ask that you would give clear messages, help people go on their way. We do also, we also do ask that sorry got a little tongue tied there uh we also do ask that you send your heavenly angels to guide us along this way to whisper messages to us as we go on our walk to protect us to war on our behalf and deliver our blessings without delay we rebuke all negative energies negative vibes word curses regular curses spell work evil eyes voodoo hoodoo whatever it is being done by those influenced by demonic activities because people who do that are influenced by demonic activity um and we just thank you and thank you and thank you for all that you have done and doing in the name of yeshua which is jesus in hebrew amen and amen all right <clears throat> so i try to keep the intro as short as possible but pff, it goes all right so we do have someone that uh, when we started out in the um, 60 second reads that, that are on the shorts, just to let you know, give you a little teaser, that there is someone in your life that's moody, scattered, um, doesn't finish goals, may overspend, spend more than what they have, spend yours, spend theirs, um, that is no longer in your energy and you uh, got higher vibrations by um, seeking the most high for your healing and things like that and it is working okay because the higher vibrations did come out here just want to make a little room for that okay it also could be maybe you were a little moody scattered had some unfinished goals or overspending after the loss of this person in your life could be a lover could be a family member um that you had to separate from um take it as it resonates i feel like now after going through what you went through, whatever the situation may be, you are in expectation of something happening. This person is sitting at the window like, 
is I'm, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Many of you are waiting on things that you have been asking the most high for, okay? So we do have, unfortunately, someone may have had a car accident or be careful in driving so that you don't have a car accident, okay? Or someone in your energy could have recently had a car accident. We also have that spirit is telling you to cut the soul tie with a specific individual, love, family, whatever, okay? Because they are visiting you in your dreams. This is someone that you do have a close tie to. Soul ties do not just come from sexual activity. It is someone that you could be close to and everything. You could have been bosom buddies, best friends. It could be a mom. It could be a dad. It could be a sibling. It could be a cousin. Um, you know, it, it just is what it is. Someone you just have a soul connection. But we do have an unfinished symphony here, which means that someone could be coming back into your life that either walked away from you or you walked away from. So we're going to get deeper into this energy, okay? And hmm, we are going to use the intuitive guidance deck. Um, now, this is on my shop. It actually does have a different um, backing. Because, uh, again, this was my test deck just to see how things came out. This is actually, I think, the first set that I created. So, um, I had made some updates and things to it as I got into making these cards. And I did make these cards from scratch by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. They are also on sale on my Etsy shop. So, take a look at it. All right? Holy Spirit. Heavenly angels of the Most High God and Private God. What messages do we have for the community? All right. So the first thing that came out <clears throat> was the settlement card. So this could be what you were expecting or an expectation to a financial reward. Could come from alimony, could come from child support. It could come from your business or um, some other type of situation that you had going on. But it's something that you are expecting. All right. Um, I feel like that you have gone through some spiritual warfare due to jealousy, spiritual attacks, hidden enemies. Um, again, hidden in your family, hidden, um, you know, in uh, love relationships, co-workers and things like that. We do have that you are a prophetess, a prophetess. Mm, can't get my words together. Mm, loosen my tongue, Lord. Uh, prophetess with discernment, spiritual insight, and divine knowledge. All right. You could be a Taurus. All right. You could be a Gemini, or it could be somebody with two faces. Um, people could call you stubborn if you're a Taurus, or you could be um, embodying the energy of going into having luxurious things, uh, things around you of beauty and culture, being kind and sensitive, logical and patient, okay? Um, you can um, also have the characteristics of a Gemini being outgoing, curious, um, Maybe sometimes have a short attention span and someone who's highly adaptable. There was a copycat in your energy that was trying to mimic you, to imitate you because of their insecurities, okay? This person could have got a tarot reading on you or you could be a tarot reader. But I am sensing that someone got a tarot reading done on you. They're building up karma because this person, if they are a tarot reader, they got a reading done on you. They were doing it to copy you, to mimic you, to be who you are, to have, to try to steal your gifts, which is why you were going through heavy spiritual warfare. They were either trying to steal your gifts or hinder your gifts from working. Okay. All right, so this person is somebody that you may have a magnetic attraction to, or they have a magnetic, magnetic attention, a magnetic, magnetic, why? Okay, magnetic 
irresistible, unexplainable attraction to you because of the extraordinary power that the Holy Spirit has put in you. Now, um, that's why you have to be careful. Maybe this is what this person found out about you, that you had this extraordinary power. They knew that you had some power, but they didn't realize how powerful you are. And the fact that your vibrations have been heightened, that you have gone through a spiritual awakening and got even more powerful than you were since the last time they saw you, which is why Holy Spirit is saying, cut that tie, okay? It is the reason why the unfinished symphony is sitting there because you may be still holding on or someone could still be holding on to you, okay? You could be holding on to someone, a past relationship, all right? There is going to be some communication from this person trying to discuss things with you to reconcile, begging and pleading for your forgiveness, confessing some things, but they only going to give you part of the story, okay? So use your discernment. All right. This person is no longer gossiping about you because this came out, but they did a lot of gossiping. This person is going to come in and not tell you how they gossiped about you or talked about you behind your back. So you accepting this person back into your life may be um, what they're hiding from you. And be like, oh, this person is going to take me back because they knew they was wrong. This, that, and the third, and they're going to apologize to me. And here they're apologizing to you behind the scenes, but openly, people on the outside think that you apologize because you were wrong, um, or you did some things to them, or put them through spiritual warfare and things like that. Okay, so just be careful, let the divine guide you towards your life purpose. Like I said, many of you are going into a spiritual awakening or a higher calling okay this person is a drama queen or a drama king this is somebody who is an attention whore they cause conflict they constantly have your name in their mouth see they're not going to tell you that they are gossiping about you they part of the information this person is now single um unattached and available to to date okay they're not in a relationship or they could be seeing that you are single and not in a relationship and that's why they're coming forward but you were not in a relationship because you were seeking the most high you were raising your vibration you were in this expectation of these blessings okay mm. so holy spirit is saying um you might not have recently been in a car accident you may not even have been in an accident at all this could have been somebody who got into an accident in your car Wow. Okay. So, um, you're manifesting. You're in a place of manifesting. Your goals, your dreams, opportunities are coming to, to you. Okay. And this person knows this. Okay. This person has been blocked and denied access. You could have blocked them. Um, Holy Spirit um, may be blocking this person. Um, and everything like that. This could be a Scorpio. You could be a Scorpio. This person may be trying to come in to seduce you. All right. And, uh, you know, get you all mixed up in your mind with passion. This is someone who is intuitive. All right. This is someone who picks up on things. And they're highly in uh, intelligent. But they're calculated and deliberate. They're strategic. They're coming in for a reason. Okay. And it's not necessarily that they want the best for you, okay? So, you have a Libra that's coming in that may be fake single. They may have gotten married or may have always been married, all right? This person is creeping and wants you possibly to be a secret lover. Or if you are married to this person and they come back and want to reconcile, they may still be having secret lovers full of lust. But I feel like you're moving on from this karmic feminine if you're a karmic masculine, okay? Um, if you're a karmic feminine, um, you may want to move away from this situation because there is a karmic femme involved. The karmic femme could be um, a tarot reader or went to a tarot reader. The karmic femme could be the one that's causing 
the spiritual warfare or it could be a karmic masculine. We do have some remorse um, because this person is seeing your glow up. All right. This person was a runner in the past. They're still full of pride, even though you have a soul tie with this person. A soulmate is someone you have a soul tie with. All right. Um, for some of you, this karmic femme could have been someone that was after your person. If you were married or in a higher level commitment, they were trying to come in between that. All right. Again, yeah, we have a divine feminine. So you could have a soulmate that someone tried to come into. Because like I said, I'm not totally picking up that this is necessarily a romantic situation. This person did not want you to be happy. All right? This person was a phony. All right? And we do have the divine masculine. We have somebody who was phony, maybe even giving false information to your divine masculine. Okay? Yeah, a karmic third party. Now, this could have been your friend. This could have been their friend. This could have been a family member of yours. This could have been a family member of theirs, okay, who is coming in to um, mess up this relationship because they have uh, hidden agendas and hidden motives, okay? All right, so we are moving on to wrap up this reading. Split pretty cut and dry here. If you would like more details into your own individual situation, um, please um, order me because I do not a answer personal questions about your situation in the comment section simply because going into your personal energy takes um, more than what can be asked in a comment section. Like I really have to focus on your energy and your spirit and connect with the most I got uh, regarding your individual situation. So please consider that. And that's the same even when it comes to other readers. Like when it comes to personal information, you know, we really have to dive deep into your situation. This, These are general readings, okay? No matter how personal they seem, it's a general reading, okay? Now we're going to go and we're going to um, wrap this reading up with some final messages if you like the message so far don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel all right i just have to say that because i don't want people to think that i'm being mean or that you're offending me um it's just, i'm not being mean and you're not offending me it's just that that's how it is um even prophetically if you go to a prophet um and everything like that um, like say you go to a church as a prophet there, they might give a general message. If you ask them something specific, all right, they have to dig into your energy. Um, normally they would tell you that, you know, I'll pray about it and come back or, you know, whatever, hook up with you later. And they might just say, look, I don't give personal things. The, the message in the house, you take it, you seek the most high with it. Okay. So... Um, that's what that is about, okay? Um, for me, the cost of a personal read is not necessarily for the actual message. It's for, um, like, the video and putting it out there and housing it for you because that is a cost to that. So, that's why, okay? So, we have somebody who's highly sexual, but no one finds them attractive. I feel like no one finds them attractive because of the fact that um, of their attitude of the fact that they may be a user or whatever um, you know only wanting what they want and not thinking or caring about anything else you know when it comes to attraction um, it's not always about the physical um, and it may start at the physical but that doesn't always last what lasts is your character and your integrity and your personality okay it says the Most High uh, is willing and able to do more than you can ask for or imagine according to his endless power, Ephesians 3 and 20. So, yes, you're an expectation of what um, you have asked God for. And he's going to do above that, okay? And then we have uh, bring good things out of the good in your heart 
Luke 6 and 45. What that means is um, forgiving those people. And when you forgive those people, it doesn't necessarily mean that you keep them around you. <clears throat> what it means is that you have let it go so it's not affecting you as a person in your spiritual growth. Remember, higher vibrations are being called for and are being had. All right. Don't keep company with miserable people. All right. Because it's going to affect your peace and your vibration. And Holy Spirit is saying, don't ever let go. This is your season of more like you're right there. Um, so don't let go of your dreams. Keep um, talking to the most high. Keep growing in, you know, them uh, in, in them in the Lord. OK, you could be a Taurus or this person could be a Taurus. We have someone who has been intentionally dishonest. This is someone who has options, 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 and they take full advantage of those options. OK, and they have not changed. You are an option uh, to them and they were upset because it's like, how dare you walk away from me? OK, they have apologies coming Ex again, accept their apology, forgive them, but you do not have to let them in. OK. Hmm. Holy Spirit is saying, don't waste your life. Don't waste your life with these people who don't mean you any good. OK, so that's what that means. Don't waste your life. On, on that, on the past. Keep looking forward and moving forward. Ooh, okay. Okay. So we have, um, this person is not saying how they really feel. So <laughs> let's look at this the way it is. This person is intentionally being dishonest. They have options, options, options. This is why also, too, that they're confused. They have a strong magnet pull to you because they were supposed to be um, the one that you went on with. It's a soul tie. But they keep, you know, having their head on a swivel, okay? They're only apologized to get back what they want. But Holy Spirit is saying, don't waste your life because this person is not saying how they really feel. And, again, it's not necessarily love feelings, this person just wants you as an option, okay? Maybe they wanted an open relationship. They're not telling you that, okay? Or they told you that and you said that you didn't want to be in an open relationship. Now this person is going to be coming saying that they want to be committed to you, but it's not the truth. It's not what they really want. They still want their open relationship. They just think once they get you back, they can convince you otherwise, all right, that's not for everybody, but it's for somebody. You can now enjoy your blessings, all right? You got somebody talking smack behind your back, okay? So this could be this person, this could be your family, this could be friends. Like, it just seemed like that people are living, you are living rent-free in people's minds. Like, you might not even be thinking about these people, but they're constantly talking about you, all right? It says, um, think and praise the most high, the God of your ancestors, who has given you wisdom and might and has revealed what he desires of you so many of you again you've been walking on your life purpose you've been praying fasting some of you um and doing what you're supposed to do and god has been letting you know who, what he wants from you okay it says how long will you sleep when will you awaken proverbs 6 and 9 can you not see what's going on okay so this person is asleep they have not awakened. They have not gone through their spiritual awakening. For some of you, it is because they don't want to go through it. They don't want to change. So Holy Spirit says, trust that he has your back. Don't let these people, um, you know, try to pull you back to where you were. Wow. Okay, that just flew. We have a fire sign. So you could be dealing with in Aries, uh, Leo, or a Sagittarius, all right? You are learning the lessons from your failures or perceived failures, okay? Wow, okay. 
Okay. All right. So these are the final messages. And then we're going to wrap this up. Okay. It says, I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people that have set themselves against me round about or all around me. That is Psalms um, 3 and 6. All right, it says, speak good. Gracious words are a honeycomb, sweet to the soul and healing to the bones. So continue to speak the good things into your life and to those around you. Even the people that, that do you bad, speak well of them, okay? Because they're going to um, reap what they sow. When I say speak well of them, you know, wish them the best. You know, pray um, mercy, you know, even through what they go through, okay? That's how you know you've grown and your vibrations are higher, okay? You are someone who may be fighting crimes and injustice depending on your gifts, all right? Yeah, this person is someone who tried to keep your relationship on the down low so they can continue to um, uh, have this open relationship. Or if it was a friend, um, they were pretending to be your friend around you, but they didn't want people to know. Because maybe you weren't popular or whatever. Or because maybe because they was talking you down to everybody else. Some people might have been wondering why. Um, and saying like why are you hanging around this person when they talking you down. And they might be not be saying it to you. But they're saying it behind your back. Okay. Someone has overstayed their welcome in your energy. Cut that tie. Okay. It doesn't matter if it's a friend, lover, whatever. All right. Don't let anyone guilt trip you into doing what you don't want to do or to benefit at your great loss, okay? Someone cannot stop thinking about you. Again, you're living rent-free in this person's mind, all right? This um, relationship, whatever it is, was friend, family, whatever. It's a toxic relationship. Let it go, all right? And may, many of you have may have already let it go, but these people have not let it go. So that's another reason why you have to cut the soul tie. Okay. And Holy Spirit is saying, you be dedicated and committed to someone who is dedicated and committed to you. What that means is stop pouring into um, an empty cup. All right. Stop, uh, you know, pouring and investing into people who are not investing in you back. Okay. All right. So that is the message that I have for you on today thank you for coming to the table don't forget to like this video comment in the comment section uh conversate with one another all right and i will see you next time don't forget to subscribe bye